table up. Now you can see here, can you see? Uh, I hope you can see the finding here. Okay. Now, uh, the first step is, uh, give me an elevator. You can see the adenoid coming like right, completely closing the coena. Okay. Now, the first step I will do in an adenoidectomy is I lateralize the inferior turbinate. The first step I do, try to do it as atraumatically as possible. Same way, this side, it's uh, slightly deviated. Even if a child, no? It's nice to do it without bleeding. See, I'm using the stem. Okay, right. Now, the next step is you have to apply the Boyle Davis mouth gag. Here, you have to apply a smaller Boyle, Boyle Davis mouth gag. So, we always use a flexor metallic tube. So, the endotracheal tube is always flexo metallic. You understand? Okay. Now, having done that, the next step is see here. This is the view. Ah, give me the nasogastric tube. So what I will do is I will start putting the nasogastric tube. See here, under vision, under endoscopic control, we put it so that, see, that's completely abstracted, right? Ah, now it's gone inside. And here, yeah, could flex liquid. So when you do that, wait, 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 wait. You hold this, hold this, show them. So you have to tie it over the uh, over the Boyle Davis mouth gag. That is a very important thing. So that the lips don't get strangled. Okay, that's very, very important. And so that we can remove this also. Give me one more. So I'm putting one more so that, see here, under endoscopic guidance, I'm putting this. Yes, gone inside now. So after that, I'm going to see this, see here, and then with an endoscope, I remove that. Coblation ready. Yeah. So what I will do now is I'm going to start my adenoidectomy 100% coblator. So that's the uh, technique I'm showing you today. I've shown you micro debrider with coblation. And this one is complete coblation. Now, there are two ways of doing it. You can see from down and you can see from above. Okay, so suction, please. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you a different way. Uh, there will be a, some, something different when Janikram does, you know that. So first of all, see, that's the lower limit of the adenoid. You can see here, that's the lower limit. Okay, now I will take my coblation. Give me the coblation. And then I'm going to make an incision. You see here, ah, uh, yellow, yellow, blue, ah, yellow, ah, no, I need blue. So I'm using a zero degree, and I'm just making one small incision here with a blue, so that I know the limit of the adenoid. You understand? So the first step is to make the incision, and then after that. Can you all see that clearly? Okay. After that, what I do, I go into the nose. And then, you see here, I'm going through the nose. And I know where I have made the incision. Sometimes what happens is, you're not able to see it because there's a huge uh, adenoid there. So, a little bit reduce that. Matani kudma. The problem in a coblation is that sometimes you leave behind a little bit. That's a problem. So, this is the technique, foolproof technique. I'll tell you how to do that. Now, you have made the incision there. Can you see that incision? Yes or no? Now, see here. You start from here. 
ఏ సక్షన్ బ్లాక్ సక్షన్ ఆఫ్ కాబులేషన్ బ్లాక్ పోస్ట్ కొడుతున్నా పర్వాలే so see here i am starting from here and i am finding the plane here is where i will find the plane so the first step is to find the plane above the muzzle so don't go and start cobbling the adenoid then you will not find the plane the plane should be found below and then what you do is you go along that plane and go up get my point or not so you can use a 70 degree telescope also get my point so give me a 30 or a 70 so i can see from below also and do it so i'm going to show you either from above or below but the thing is many of the people who do cobulation they start from the adenoid bulk and then they do it this is something which i don't like something like you know of course it doesn't have a capsule but we will try to do an extra capsular dissection see here how i do that ah uh, give 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 cobulation cobulation see how i am starting now see here now i start from here hey irrigation 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 no no this should irrigate man varda illa ma ha varda ready now see here i am starting from below so the first step is to identify the the plane see the muzzle can you see here muzzle the perimysium hello boss so that's the most important thing if you start from here you will not find the perimysium you get my point ah huh? the idea is to get the perimysium you get my point so that what happens is that the adenoid is completely shaved off from the muzzle so problem with the cobulation uh, adenoidectomy many people when i see lot of small 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 pieces they leave behind that is the problem see see the perimysium here can you see yes or no so there should not be anything left behind so that's why we are tackling from below upwards not from above downwards can you understand dr shiva see see the perimysium here can you see see the tissue see see the perimysium can you see so that is very important so there is no point in doing any any surgery leaving behind tissue see the perimysium again and again i am saying you whatever surgery you do you should have a complete removal now you can go for debulking okay basically it's like something like a skull base extra capsular dissection so first you make the incision make the incision down and go up you get my see see the perimysium i am now tracing the perimysium you understand so that's how you should do a cobulation i have seen many 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 people doing cobulation very wrongly they just start from the bulk and they leave behind so much of adenoid tissue it looks like a bad uh, adenoidectomy done so if you do whether it is a debrider assisted or a cobulation assisted see see this should be the result you understand can you see that's the bulk now okay now you can take this off see this is attached to the buccopharyngeal fascia you understand this is attached to the bone so here we can go deep 
नो प्रॉब्लम ती so it's always a horizontal movement don't keep it at one place if you keep it at one place you get blocked get my point and you see monica is irrigating from above very very important you know see see i have not bent the wand many people bend the wand to bend the wand no then it will get blocked you understand yes or no see here when i go see here i am feeling the muscle see here i am feeling the muscle but when i go up i have to feel the bone that's the difference you understand so that's the difference between the dissection below and dissection above you get my point see here when i go up This is all massive chunks of adenoid tissue. Block. So what have I done? See how beautiful it is looking. See, only the sides are left behind. That I will take it out. But all the way you are able to see the perimysium you get my point so that should be the kind of adenoidectomy you should do not from the bulk if you start from the bulk you will lose the plane get my point now i am going to start again see here so the the steps are make an incision ah see i got that see see that you know see here i got the plane there you know see what is that that is the buccopharyngeal fascia over the basi occiput basi sphenoid you get my point so that is the plane there see i am not leaving behind even a small residual adenoid see See that? Can you see? That's where the longest. This is the longest capitis muscle. This is the longest capitis muscle gets origin from here. You understand? Now I will just take off the bulk of the adenoid, and here I will be sweeping it towards the bone. Get my point? so now we are doing a study of all the three methods uh whether i mean of course deep brider is a little faster whether this will produce velopharyngeal insufficiency or not i i don't agree in fact if you do it properly why should there be if you have a circumferential problem only there should be a stenosis so once we are done with the study we'll release it suction 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 block Oh, come on, come on, suction. Now you see here, see how beautifully we are able to don't irrigate too much, little bit, little bit. Okay. Yeah, irrigate, irrigate, little, little. Ah, oh, like that. block 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 the problem in coblation is that you might have a little block that's the advantage of a debrider in debrider you will not have that whereas in coblation you might have a little block okay see there's a last chunk of adenoid can you see that all of you and that's a plane here till here you should remove that adenoid you get my point come 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 so let me remove the center a little bit is here okay now that's fine evlo per irukanga 
if you pour so much, no, I am not able to. No, you were before, I am telling. See, that's the plane. Can you see? This goes till the level of the fascia. Now, the last piece of the adenoid here. Can you see? Now, this is towards the coina. Irrigation. The problem in coblation adenoidectomy is that many people, as I told you, leave behind a lot of adenoid. You have to hold it this way, man. Hold it this way. Little bit, not much. I have seen it. It looks very, very irregular. The surface looks very irregular. That should not be the case. I should have a smooth surface. That should be the final goal of the Complete coblation adenoidectomy. You understand? So that's around the fossa of Rosen Muller. Now, this area you see here. Lock right there. Give me a zero. So, what I'll do. That area we can do with a zero from the nose and go from the so we can go like this. See, suction, 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 suction. That's why I just lateralize the turbinate. See, last bit of the adenoid. Can you see here clearly? All of you? Yeah, now you see how nicely the adenoid has been completely removed. Put it, put it. I'm itching to remove it to the debrider. <coughs> debrider is faster, you know. Coblation gets little, little, even if it's a brand new van, gets a little blocked. Uh, see, a little bit left. But that is the muzzle, beautifully seen. Can you see? Uh. Now I'm going for the last bit of the honey. See, I have not done anything to the wand. Please understand. Some people bend the wand. Don't do that. Do that, the wand gets spoiled and it will get blocked again and again. The main problem in the coblation is that a little bit is left behind at the level of the suction. At the root or the site of attachment. Or the inferior part of the adenoid is left behind. That's why I make that incision and then go up. Ah. Uh, give, 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 give. So, this is a total coblation adenoidectomy. Of course, I have shown in my YouTube channel about the 
debrider assisted adenoidectomy as well see here now this is the kind of movement you should do see 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 the plane can you see the plane see the plane so you should get that plane my dear friend this is what many people don't do what they do is just leave behind a lot of adenoid tissue when you look at it it looks like bumpy bumpy surface that is something wrong this is see see the buccopharyngeal fascia can you see here yes or no hey very good now i'm going for the tubal tonsil so here don't worry about the carotid that's a prosa of rosen molar the carotid will never come here see you should understand that the carotid the parapharyngeal carotid goes along the lateral mass of the atlas unless it's a midline carotid it goes along the lateral mass of the atlas you understand so this is not the area for it to come even in the apex it's well protected by the fibrocartilaginous ring you understand so see see how nicely the adenoid has been done so this is the kind of result which i want to expect in a case of adenoidectomy when you show okay i do it with the coblation yeah you can do whatever you want irrigate but the thing is i want this result i want that you see the perimysium i want to see the buccopharyngeal fascia you use whatever you want you use the debrider you use the coblator uh, you use the curette but i need to see two things my block i need to see the buccopharyngeal fascia i need to see the perimysium you understand suction please shiva can you understand what i'm trying to tell you so tomorrow don't come and show me i have done with the coblation and if i see there's a lot of you know irregular surface then i will say you are a bad surgeon you see on the youtube so many people have shown lot of you know coblation assisted lot of remnant nobody is properly i mean it's not like nobody there are some but see see that see that buccopharyngeal fascia they have to show this transition from here to here get my point that is called complete removal now i'm going for the tubal tonsil so that see see that this is a little bit this is a station tube here can you see here so i'm going just above it don't worry nothing will happen little bit left behind here okay now what am i seeing i am seeing the buccopharyngeal fascia here very beautifully can you see my dear friends all of you anybody on the internet watching us or nobody is there can anybody unmute and talk hello sir i am dr abhinav agarwal from molana dal medical college Hey hi man hi how are you dr vinod i am good sir so you got the uh, idea right yes sir very nicely done sir beautiful it, demonstration we can, i can see the perimysium and the it plane. is not the question of what you use my dear friend it is the question of what is your final result am i right or wrong absolutely sir see here when i go up i should see the buccopharyngeal fascia see that that's a buccopharyngeal fascia here hey irrigate man See, at one place there's a little exposure of the muscle it's okay but the perimysium is completely intact can you see that clearly yes sir so can this you show the eustachian eustachian tube opening also see that's a here 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 see see here okay 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 so i yes, mean sir. that's a tubal elevation behind yeah. it is a tubal tonsil but more importantly see that incision which i made i don't know if you saw it from the beginning i saw it sir yes you sir. have to make that incision because you leave behind a little bit of adenoid here and that will hypertrophy so make yes, that incision first so that you know which is your inferior extent 
and of course the superior extent will be the coena there's no doubt about it so right, so you see how clearly we have shown the perimysium buccopharyngeal fascia transition this is the transition between the fascia and the muscle this is the longest capitis muscle mm -hmm. yes of sir. course here there's a little exposure of the muscle it's okay but then uh sometimes and this, this is what happens in cobulation whereas in in the deep right it never happens yes sir so so just wanted to show you how precisely uh, give me precisely a uh, uh, adenoidectomy should be done this is very 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 important and i think sir, i have conveyed when, sir when you were using going from the oral cavity you were uh, using 70 degree endoscope 70 70 70 yes sir so when i was going from the oral cavity it's 70 when i'm going from the nose it's zero yes sir so, and sir you so always the, you always lateralize the inferior turbinate oh uh, yes because you see you need a uh, space for the for the tube the tube the little tube is there the yes, coagulation if required you need a little space and you don't want to fight for space and right, uh, that that's the end of the adenoidectomy i'm going to show you the final result so what i want to tell you is see the kind of flat smooth surface so yes, if at the end of a coagulation or whatever adenoidectomy you do there's a lot of bumpy areas. That means you have not done a complete adenoidectomy. You get my point? Yes, sir. Yes. Now I will show you my modified technique of tonsillectomy. Give me a. So I'm just going to. Wait, wait, wait. Blue, huh? Blue, huh? See, when you go into the plane, there's not much bleeding. When you leave behind a little bit of the adenoid then there's a little bleeding if you noticed it there was not much bleeding at all because the plane was respected okay now i'm going to do the tonsillectomy get me the uh so i always do tonsillectomy with the uh microscope always with the microscope so what is the what is the carry home message here the carry home message number one is know your superior limit you know your inferior limit and of course you know your lateral limits and posteriorly you should always see that you see two important structures namely the perimysium and the buccopharyngeal fascia so if you don't see that, that means you have not done a complete adenoidectomy. This is a very, 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 very simple. And if you, have, if you see a lot of, you know, some things sticking here and there, then that's not a good adenoidectomy at all. So this is, so basically cut and then from there you start, chuck, 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 so that you have that plane. If you come from the bulk, you will not get the plane. You will, you will end up leaving behind a lot of bumpy areas, a lot of, so you yourself will not be happy seeing it. I mean, by seeing it, it will be very shabby. And uh, people say, hey, oh, it's ever, over. It's over. No, which is over. Nothing is over because you have not seen the end result. Now, I'm going to show you the tonsil. I have slightly modified the tonsil surgery, uh, uh, the coagulation tonsil surgery. And you will be seeing it right now, how slightly different it will be from the usual demonstration. Uh, Pretty... Sir, so that means we should not be doing curettage now, the cold steel method. It should no, be no, 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 you can do, boss. I told you we are doing a study between three different techniques. Number one okay. is I'm doing a study with pure cobulation. Yes, Second sir. is curettage will always be done with endoscope. Okay. So we have to do it with endoscope. And then the remnant tissue will either be debrided or cobulator or whatever. So we never have only the, the cure touch alone cannot show you the perimysium. This is for sure. That yes. means you're leaving behind a little bit of the adenoid. So that is not at all a good technique. So nowadays what we do is we put an endoscope, do the cure touch because it saves a lot of time. Pack a little bit and start either debriding or cobbling the remnants. So this right. is second. third is debrider first to remove the bulk, but there'll be a lot of bleeding in that. Yes, Whenever sir. you use debrider, you'll have a lot of bleeding. So you'll have to, I mean, that is uh, one other technique. Then you use either bipolar or cobulation. Whatever you use, 
we are doing a study bipolar only is inferior this is what we have studied apart from that curettage or debrider or coblation does not change any of your results this yes, is sir. what our study is we are arriving at it we just doing a sample small sample 50 50 50 and uh, we are arriving at it but the end point we want to make sure is the buccopharyngeal fascia and the perimysium this is the very important thing right right sir just thank you minute. yeah so i'm going to show you the modified my uh, kannada edre tonsil technique which uh, i have devised i don't know whether uh, it is being promoted by other people i have not seen it being promoted uh even the the people abroad i have seen for uh, tonsillectomy wait 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 can you give me a smaller one so the first thing i want to tell you whenever you do an adenoidectomy uh, tonsillectomy is there's a wrong notion uh that you put that uh, jack and then finally <coughs> put the uh, uh, put the boiled davis mouth gag and then put a jack we generally don't put the jack why don't we put a jack i hold it uh, hold and then i pull the cheek out so the it gives more exposure and you see what's my the more imp, most important thing is suction your tongue base should not fall this is the very 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 important thing very important thing is the tongue base should not fall so can you see now the uh, picture please yes sir uh, clearly seen now what is the modification which i have done uh, Give me sir where do you ask the anesthetist to keep the tube into trachea tube that the tube is always flexo metallic okay and we never do nasal intubation we never ever do nasal intubation we always do oral intubation and you yes, see what sir. i do now again i make the incision this is in, hey, nala eduthuko the cheek should be this cheek should be pulled yeah now you see here the the everything you need to make an incision see that's the junction of the uh, uh, tonsil so i make it with the blue that's the junction of the tonsil with the anterior pillar so i made that incision and then what i do is see that and then the first step i do of course this is this is the most important step my dear friend this is the most important step to find out where the superior pole is you can see here that i am trying my best to expose the capsule you understand and what is the modification which we have brought here the modification which we have brought here is that we don't use the coblation fully we use it as a elevator you can see that it is a hybrid technique see it's a hybrid technique it is neither a coblation i don't bother about the rbc's coming out but i am more bother about the post operative pain and the post operative pain score is very less especially in the tonsil when you use this technique the hybrid technique you can see that i identified the capsule can you all appreciate that clearly yes sir now you see i have not used the coblation at all see that what's happening now so don't worry about a little rbc coming here and there that is not the idea the idea is to make it as less energy going into the fossa as possible mm. you get my point please this is yes, the modification which i brought and that means the coblation wand is used as a 
यूज एज अ डिसेक्टर सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ हाइब्रिड टेक्निक बिटवीन दी the coblation technique which people do so here take care to save the posterior pillar as much as possible now what is the what is the real difference between the coblation technique and our technique said no chatting the difference is you see that the fossa is pinkish in color can you see here no. yes sir no charging at all no what no charging yeah, no charging no blackish spot anything yeah usually what happens it's a parchment white it's actually parchment white when you see and uh, that is not the right thing to do to you know completely burn off all that fossa that is not the right to me i think that produces so that is one thing which we were studying we saw that the pain score was definitely much when we use complete now can you see here my dear friends see i'll show you the fossa now uh hmm. is it upside down or something like that ha huh? ah okay now this is this is the correct ah. give me an elevator elevator i want to show the fossa to the friends see here see how the fossa looks can you see that yes sir pinkish it's completely pinkish this is what i really want and the same thing i keep telling whether it's skull base whatever it is try to maintain that because this is the best for healing healing is very very good when you have the natural color of the tissue if you want to char it if you want to make it white if you want to make it diathermized if you want to make it black all this will cause pain you get my point Yes, sir. Yes. And even, sir, post tonsillectomy bleed after four or five days also. Yes, 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 yes. You are right. You are right. Another thing is the incidence of secondary hemorrhage. Correct. Secondary As you say, yeah. the incidence of secondary hemorrhage. And third, big uh, CC. I didn't use the jack. So what I am trying to do is to now reapply this so that I see the tongue. See, if I am not able to see the inferior pole, then give me a bigger one. then i will not do the surgery because i need to see the superior and inferior extent of my dissection every time i say this get your boundaries of dissection clear if you don't that means you are at fault ha uh, hold say so what is the size of the tube you are using size uh, what is the size sir you mean the endotracheal tube is it you mean the endotracheal tube my dear friend okay Six, six size. Now, can you see that, please? Yes, sir. Now you see there's a little pus. Of course, we gave the patient antibiotics. Now see here. Now the first step, what do you do? Make the incision with blue. See here, this blue. Just go very close to the. See, I made that incision. Can you see that clearly? And then yes, make sir. the yellow. the view is getting obstructed sir so ha huh? what yes yes now we can see yeah so you can see here i'm going to hold that tonsil at its head i'm going to release the can you see that capsule see what i found is my residents they found it very difficult to have that learning curve in the coblation because they went through the tonsil so the best way to do an extra capsular dissection in the tonsil is to do this modified technique where your learning curve comes down so 
generally during PG time, all of us are used to what? Not of cobulation, but of the dissection method, right? Yes, sir. And cold so, steel. And so this is sort of, you know, using the, and you know, my one foot is there on blue. My one foot is there on yellow. And uh, this gives me a beautiful control of If I want to use the yellow, I will use the yellow. If I want to use the blue, I'll use the blue. But ultimately, I will try my best not to use both. Unless I really want to. See the vein there? Can you see here? When yes. it goes inside, see, I use the blue now. See that now. See that. See how beautifully we are able to See every structure, the same thing if I only use the cobulation, believe me, I will not be able to see all these beautiful veins. Can you see that or not, my dear friends? Yes, sir. Beautiful. See, you might think it's a simple surgery. I mean, of course, tonsil is a simple surgery. But how to make it sort of user-friendly, how to make it like, you know, Easy is the question which we are trying to see how to improvise on whatever we are doing. That is the final goal of any surgeon for that matter. Another, you know, what's the other major advantage? Your wand will come for at least seven, eight cases, boss. Okay. If your wand is going to be used like crazy on a adenoid and a tonsil, then your wand is not going to come for more than two, three cases, which is going to cost you more too. You get my point? Yes, sir. That few RBCs, don't worry, my dear friend. Uh, people are very fanatic about that RBCs. No. To me, I think that should not be your goal. It is not like, you know, you're wasting tons and liters of blood. It's just a few RBCs. You're seeing with the microscope too. Now, see that? Now, if they are doing it without an RBC, they are, they are saying that, yeah, I did it without. No, no, I don't agree. What is there in seeing one or two RBCs? That is not a matter. But what is going to be your post-operative? result with respect to pain this is more important for me okay now what i'm going to do is just see that what is the bleeding here use a little bit of the blue if necessary just at points where there are a little bleeding that's all give me a elevator now now, again, I'm going to show you my fossa. Just hold it like this. Looks good to me. Mm. Hey, why? Cobblation or color? Blue is not working. Now it's working. Ma, work all, ma. Ma, work all, ma. Huh? Ah, do, 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 do. See how pinkish it is, my dear friends. Yes, sir. That's the idea, my dear friends. And the healing, I believe me, you will not have that big slough. You try to see the posa after a blue work column. Uh, after making it fully white, you see the slough. It will be like thick slough. That's it, finished. See how beautiful the fossa looks. That's it, finished. So, so the points, I keep a small goss piece. I'm coming there. So it took hardly around four or five minutes. But more importantly, we conveyed a very important message. And what's the message? The message is don't use too much of heat. Of course, you can say it's 60 degree only. Or, uh, you know, heat of a coffee. Even that is heat, boss. Please understand. 
if you do it with the dissection is it uh, hot no so you keep 100 degrees in your skin and see just keep 100 degree coffee on your skin and see whether it is uh, uh, painful or not I, uh, diathermy produces 400 degrees 400 degrees so <laughs> do you want to keep 400 degrees on your skin so all these are the things which you know you should think whenever we operate we think why do you have to give that much of heat to a tissue which is not required? So these are the things which made me actually change to a more conservative approach, which is friendly to the youngsters who can find the plane very easily, not leave behind residual adenoid or tonsil. And uh, this is what I wanted to convey through this, uh, through this uh, live telecast. I thank you all for being there. And I hope that, you know, I think one point maybe uh, was conveyed, if, if at all I could. Thank you, so, sir. It was. It's always a pleasure to see your surgery, sir. Thank you, Dr. Abhinav. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To have, we have a pituitary uh, today, and I will try uh, to do it uh, live. Let us see. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful seeing your surgery again and again. Thank you, Dr. Uddhav. Thank you so much. Basically, it's a little conceptual, uh, boss. Basically, we think and, you know, do some conceptual stuff without following like a goat, somebody who is doing like, you know, we think, why Why should you do that? I mean, why? Why? Just because you have a carbolation van, it's not a magic van to put it on the fossa and, uh, you know, uh, scarch it out like white. This doesn't make sense to me. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. God, thank bless, you, you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.